afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another Propaganda Castle with me, your host, Imperial Dane. I'm a master of instruction here covering today the M4 Sherman Calliope. Available from the tactical support company at a 10 command point for 380 manpower and another 4 to 40 fuel. It's basically a self propelled artillery piece of the rockety kind, meaning it's more the sort of type to saturate an area with rockets, murdering as many units that have bunched up as possible within that area. Area. In terms of veterans, it basically gains more mobility, range, and reduces scatter while at the same getting a higher rate of fire, which basically means he just shoots faster and faster as veterans is up. It rather stands out from other sort of rocket launcher vehicles on several departments. One, of course, it's a call in, another one is it's a lot tougher. Most of the other vehicles basically takes one or two shots from a tank and that's it. The Sherman is more heavily armoured and is more durable, meaning taking out a Sherman Calliope is going to be one hell of a problem, meaning you actually need to, you can't just sort of rush in and you sort of knock it out, you actually need to make a large assault to sort of do in that sense your opponent could try and bait you in using the Calliope to some pretend. Of course it also means you know it's not going to be an easy job dealing with it. On the other hand, if you do get it, you've certainly done some damage to your opponent. Of course, like so much artillery, of course, certain rules apply, of course. You're going to get a lot less effect. You just sort of fire it blindly. If you can see your target, it'll be more accurate. And of course, overall, the closer it is to it, the better. Generally, you always want to shoot at targets you know where are, rather than targets you hope are there where you're shooting. That always tends to be the least efficient type of artillery fire. And of course, generally when it comes to the collab, you sort of want to hit a target where your opponent sort of bunched up his units sort of concentrate and then sort of strike into it. Or, for example, your opponent attacking fight straight into the center of the attack, spreading out, forcing him to sort of manage his troops sort of spread out there, giving you more time to deal with the rest. I mean, there are several options there. And of course, as the opponent, you don't want your troops to be too close to other. You, of course, ought to be careful about having their own building since the collab can quickly, in most cases, knock down a building. And overall, as in many cases, you want to quickly knock it out. out but again, with the Calliope, it does require more effort. And again, that's probably more than anything. Rather, the trick about it, it's basically so tough. Again, it's going to require a larger effort, and that also means your opponent has more time to act to sort of save it. So, I mean, generally, you're going to get at least get, you know, two tanks to sort of quickly bring it down. Otherwise, you're going to simply be brought down too quickly yourself doing your assault, and preferably try to support it as well. Generally, for example, here in this case, you know, an assault through here, heading in, and then getting behind it with, say, two Panzer Force would be, for example, the best approach. So I think that rather comes it really here about the Calliope again, tough rocket launcher, rules of artillery as always, and those in fact have a specific propaganda cast there about for further. And again, you know you want to launch a larger assault, a quick harassment is in most cases I fear not quite going to work out simply due to its sheer durability. There'll probably be some nerves to it down the road, but overall things still so the larger rules will still apply. It's going to be armoured and it's going to be tougher. And of course it's going to do a, do a bunch of damage. So there you go, hopefully this has been instructional, hopefully this has been educational, if it has, you know, feel free to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, but of course, not your enemies, the bastards. So thank you all, and hope to see you all another time for another Propaganda Cast Lair. Bye!